galore at the moment and so there's little Tumba slowly creeping along he's looks like he's maybe spotted something and he's moving closer towards the road which is great I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep him for that long because it goes into a bit of a dip here and then from there it's gonna be quite tough but I'm hoping he's coming up towards Twin Dams we're just on the eastern side of the Mulawati and he's looked like he's been walking up and down so we found his tracks and we followed them along and found him sitting on the southern side of the road so he's slowly creeping north in direction which is very good but look at him isn't he the most beautiful cat now my day is completely complete i have had everything that i could have asked for today i've had elephants i've had lions and now one of my favorite leopards in the whole world tumba so it is a good day today that is for sure and i'm super glad that we found him hello boy and look at those beautiful eyes and that little pink nose very typical of this individual he's such a good looking leopard Now, the problem is that with him being on these kind of areas is that there's quite busy, which is not great for a young leopard. I'm sure he doesn't really like all the attention of the cars. So hopefully he'll cross over onto our side and we'll be able to then see him a little bit better and in a quieter space. But I know a lot of you are very happy to see him and all saying hello. So I'm sure if he could speak, he would say hello back. It's great that he's at least come and shown himself now there's a vehicle that is here so since i'm going to ask you if you can just quickly keep an eye on him while i move out the way because it's a private car that wants to get past so hopefully he won't move at least senzo knows where he is i can't see him very well with the naked eye but i'm just going to pull off for this car so that they are able to get past me let them go and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn around senzo it's going to make life a little bit easier because he's heading in that direction so, here we go. Okay, Senzo, you're going to have to try and spot him again, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. You can see a little bit of a car pile up at this stage, which is what I expected for this part of the world. Uh, there he is. Senzo, can you see him still? Okay, there we go. So at least he hasn't moved. If he had moved, it would have been quite tough for us, but he's stayed in exactly the same spot. And actually, I think we might have a better angle on him now. Ariel, who's a new viewer from our Nat Geo shows. Hello, Ariel, and welcome to our Safari Live experience from South Africa. And you are joining us on a perfect day because we've got all of our cats out and about and you say leopards are your favorite well Ariel I think you'll find that most of the Safari Live crew I have a soft spot for the leopards and I know they are my absolute favorite animal and I could spend all of my time with them so any day with a leopard is a good day I agree with you and I'm also very excited to be seeing him so it's definitely improved my mood somewhat and I think we've had an absolutely incredible afternoon. If you think we've, the amount of species we've seen this afternoon just goes to show you that sometimes luck can be on your side and there are so many things to actually see out here that we get so focused on one or two animals that in the end we can still see a lot. Now, typical of a leopard, he's gone into the shadows and into the thicker, denser areas and a young leopard will do this because he's a little nervous of the cars that are here. Now some of the cars are going to move off and it will be a lot more quiet and I would hope then that he's going to start to come out and if he comes out onto the top bank here, we're going to have be in the perfect place to see him. But you can see that typical tail that gives a leopard away often, that white tip that just curls up and that's one of their downfalls for us as a guide it's one of the first things you can spot when a leopard is walking around is that little white tail so he's very camouflaged as you can see there besides the tail sticking out so i don't know if this is jamie from kenya or if this is jamie jamie but jamie wants to know if i tracked tumbo if i stumbled upon him well jamie it was a bit of both because it was a bit of both because what happened was we found tracks in the Mulawati and the tracks went towards Twin Dams and came back again. So I was following the tracks along and I walked up and there were two vehicles and they looked at me and they were like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm tracking a leopard. And they said, well, the leopard is sitting right next to us. And so I then quickly went and got my car and now was able to find um, Tumba sitting here with these two cars. So I didn't know that he was here. We were actually just following his track. So it's a bit of both though. We, we can't claim it as a full on tracking experience because others had already found him and he was south of the boundary. So I would have had to stop 
on the road here and would have been difficult to follow the tracks any further so the fact that they spotted him has helped now he has gone into a little thicket but he is moving up towards us and so i would assume that we're going to lose visual of him for a little bit and then hopefully he's going to come back up and head back towards twin dams the amount of tracks that are here for him is incredible they're just going back and forth back and forth back and forth and so i'm sure he's going to maybe head towards twin dam for a drink if not towards twin dam there are some impalas just down the road here that he might be listening to and that's maybe where he's heading is he coming our way senzo can you see him so Senzo says he can see him and he's coming slowly, which is fantastic news. So hopefully he's going to move up and out. And so while we sit and wait for him and we're going to be patient and hope that he does come out, let's go back to Tara and the beautiful Inca Uma Pride. 